Somebody could be finding out that you have found somebody new. They're feeling like a fool. Yes, I feel like that's the truth. They're finding this out, maybe watching you on social media, whatever internet platform you may have, or they could just be seeing you going out and having a good time with friends. I don't know. This person feels like ultimately defeated. They're finding something out about you that um, has them feeling like an absolute fool because they're losing you. You're done. You're, um, you've, you're closing out a cycle. You're moving on, and you're confident doing it, and you're balanced in your emotions, right? You're over this person. They also could be seeing you living like um, kind of a luxurious life. Uh, you have some kind of possibly a public platform. You could you could be you could have like a, a website, a blog, a vlog. <laughs> um, you could have a YouTube channel. You could just be on social media posting beautiful pictures of yourself. Okay, whatever it may be, um, this person is watching everything that you do, and they're. It, it almost feels like a crushing tower moment. Like this gives them the kind of feeling like a kick in the gut, okay? Um, you know that feeling like when you're going over a roller coaster, you know, when your stomach just comes up? Uh, that's what this person is feeling. That's the feeling they're giving me here. My ribs are starting to hurt, actually. Um, this person could have some kind of, like, I don't know, health issue or they could have some kind of problem with their ribs or their or their stomach it's like that pit in their stomach where they realize okay that you're gone it kind of knocks the wind out of this person yeah you have they're thinking you met someone new and it is over for them yeah new love look at this so you could be meeting new love, or maybe that's just what they're thinking. Okay, take it how it resonates with you, right? Um, it could go either way. I just, I feel like they're finding something out about you, or they're looking at your photos, or they're looking at um, your social media. They're going to be doing a lot of watching you this weekend, um, possibly a lot of crying, okay? Yeah, well, they left you out here single for far too long, and look at you. You're the treasure in the deck here. Okay, this is my treasure card because you're everything. You have everything that you need and then some, and you're single. The only thing you don't have is one pentacle, okay? And that pentacle stands for a soulmate connection, which is coming in. So you're about to have wish fulfillment with someone new. This person knows it. So you're, I feel like you're single now right? You're single now, but I feel like a commitment is coming in your future, and this person knows it. They, they're seeing you out here beautiful, absolutely stunningly beautiful. Um, they're seeing you having a, like you've had a transformation. They're seeing you abundant, okay? Um, successful in whatever it is that you're doing, maybe even making bank, okay? Making good money, um, they're seeing you as, like, everything they could possibly want in, like, a dream partner, okay? And the, and this is somebody who left you behind. I feel like everything that they did to you is now completely backfiring back on them. Because I feel like at one point, this person had you in the Ten of Swords. They may have underestimated you greatly here. Yeah, this this is somebody who... I feel like they may have listened to someone else talk about you. Someone else could have said um, that you didn't have enough to bring to the table, that you weren't enough, that you were going to be dependent on them, okay? Um, that you were bad news somehow, all right? That you were like nothing, okay? Um, somebody told them this and got in the middle of this connection they were, this is somebody, whoever talked about you to this person could have been a heavy drinker. They could have um, been talking over drinks, maybe at a bar somewhere. So somebody, somebody betrayed you. This could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I feel like they did this because they were jealous of your connection with this other person. 
because they are feeling betrayed. Um, but, you know, I mean, what, it took them this long to figure that out? Something's not quite fitting here. Yeah, this is a major betrayal. Someone else did get in between of this connection, okay? But, I mean, here's the thing. It's taken you a lot of time to reach the Empress in the Minor Arcana energy. That takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of focus. It takes a lot of effort to transform your life and build what you've built here for yourself. So this person could have been in separation from you for months or years, okay? And they're just seeing your transformation and realizing that they got duped now. And that's a confirmation, yeah. They're just realizing that they were duped out of a beautiful connection with you, okay? Um, yeah, somebody was trash-talking you. Uh, this is gossip. Because they were jealous of this connection. This could be another ex. It could be an ex-friend. They didn't want anyone around you. I just saw the, um, the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. They wanted to keep you isolated. They didn't want anyone else to date you. I feel like you've been betrayed by a couple different people here, Collective, okay? Possibly two exes, all right? One of them trash-talked you. Um, told this person not to date you, and this other person listened, okay? Right there at that moment, they both betrayed you. And I feel like the one who listened to this, to this liar, um, the one who listened to them, they didn't even give you the benefit of the doubt. Like, they didn't, they never came and talked to you about it. They didn't tell you what was said. They didn't even say that they had a conversation with this person. They just kind of left you behind, believing what was said, believing in the lies. They just left you behind, okay? Um, and at that moment, that was a betrayal from both of them. It, it is. It was, okay? Now the one who was... Uh, who believed the lies. The one who believed the lies, now they're feeling like an absolute fool because they know they were tricked. They were tricked out of a connection with everything, with the, you're the everything card. Okay, and this is coming to an end. I feel like when this person walked away from you, they could have ghosted you. They could have sent you like a text message like, sorry, this isn't for me. Thanks for, thanks for the good times. Goodbye kind of thing, you know? I feel like they really didn't consider your feelings when they left you. And I feel like you had to pick yourself back up from that. Possibly even feeling a bit humiliated. Because I feel like deep down inside, you knew this person was leaving you behind. Maybe because they saw you as nothing. But it was only because of what this liar said. They left you behind, in a sense, feeling like, Kind of like, what happened? What did I do? Was I not enough for this person? I feel initially. But you, you changed your perspective on that very quickly. Like this person couldn't keep you down. Okay, I feel like it brought you way down. This was, earth, this was I want to say, earth shattering for you. It shattered you. It broke your heart. But you, you picked yourself back up. And with this bird on your hand, that's, that's, a, that's like a messenger bird. So I feel like you've been divinely led this whole time. Spirit was the only one there for you. No one else came to even check on you and see if you were okay. I feel like there were other people too that, um, I don't know, maybe you had some close connections that knew that you had just gotten hurt and they didn't even say a word to you, okay? That's what it's, it's feeling like, okay? So you were all alone in this and it took you a long time to rebuild your life. It took you a long time to pick yourself back up and, and heal from what was done to you. So this has been a long time, it feels like, in separation, okay? After all of that hurt that was done to you for no reason, for no reason, okay? 
And I feel like now, especially getting the messages here from the divine, you're, you're able to piece everything together. Like you may totally know who did the betraying of you, who, who talked smack about you, and who spread lies about you. And you, you know who this is, I feel. And you know who I'm talking about here, who believed the lies. Okay, this person who believed the lies, they could be a, a Virgo, an Aries, maybe Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The one who told the lies could be a fireside, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, heavy on Sagittarius. Okay, and the one who told the lies knew you were everything. They just didn't want anyone else to be with you. I, I feel like, um, yeah... They both, they both wanted you, or they wanted you, this, per, this liar wanted you to be alone. Now somebody wants to come in and apologize, Pisces energy. They want to apologize now. They're trying to think of what they can say. Man, what can they possibly say that's going to fix the kind of heartache and betrayal that you've been put through? Like you did nothing wrong to these people <laughs> you know you, when they met you you may have been in a time of financial struggle but we've all been in a financial struggle that doesn't mean you're going to remain there with perseverance hard work dedication and direction you pulled yourself out of any kind of financial struggles or you're still working on that i feel like right now you're really focused on you you're happy being single you're focused on your work, your um, your money, your business. What if you, you could have your own business here? You could have been in the process of starting a new project for yourself, and this liar could have said that you were crazy. Okay, you're very stable and grounded as well. They could have said that you lose your temper. They could have said, they said everything negative that they could possibly think of saying about you, even if it was a lie, to get this person to leave you behind. And it worked. The, this other person listened. They believed the lies. They didn't even give you the benefit of the doubt. And here's what ticks me off. I got to say, if, if you were intimate with this person or you had been... Um, like maybe you knew this other person for a while, or maybe they, uh, you were, things were going really great in the relationship and you were getting really close. This person didn't even give you the respect and consideration of the benefit of the doubt and having a conversation with you about it. Like nobody even told you what was said or who was, nothing. I feel like they just kind of left you behind. Yeah, now whoever, they, look, this is what they're realizing, the same thing, too. They're realizing the exact same thing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I, I listened to nothing but lies. Um, I walked away from the collective, and, and the collective is everything to me. I went back in. How am I going to make this right? The collective didn't do anything wrong. I feel like you were innocent. This person knows it. Yeah, they're like, I ghosted the collective, or they could have said some things like, bro like maybe broke up with you in a text message. You know, what the heck is that? That's not showing any kind of respect or consideration. And they're realizing this, that everything I just said is the truth, man. They're realizing it all. This is that pit in their stomach, knowing that um, they want to come and apologize, and they have to face you after everything that was done to you needlessly unprovoked yeah this is what they were led yeah this is what was said about you to make this person leave you behind i'm telling you um they were told that you didn't have a good job or you were never going to make enough money okay they were told that you would always be dependent on this person they were told that you really had nowhere to go you were like a bum. This, you, this person was told that you were a bum, basically. And they believed that crap. 
And on top of it, the worst part to me is, is that they didn't even talk to you about it. I feel like they left you behind. Now, now, even if you were in a time of struggle, you flipped into an empress because you had all the tools that you needed to grow an empire all on your own. You just needed to find that out. And, and through this journey, you did. Your healing process, the way you conceive yourself now, may be way different than what it was when this person broke your heart and walked away believing the lies. I feel like it just left you, when that happened, it left you feeling absolutely shattered. You know, you didn't know what to think. No one told you the truth or gave you any details or anything. So you had to rebuild and it and I feel like you had to you had to um, change your perspective of everything. You know, you had to transform mentally and emotionally as well. And now you're strong, you're happy being single. Spirit has given you the answers that you need in all of this. I feel like you already know exactly what happened. Okay, and this person that um, believed the lies and broke your heart um, and didn't even consider how you felt about it, now they're realizing how much they must have hurt you, how much that must have hurt. And they're, um, they know they need to apologize, but they're almost like afraid to approach you now because they know how deeply they hurt you. Because now, see, they're feeling the same pain they put you through. See, this is, this is what it is. The Ten of Swords, something so painful, it has you on the ground. And I feel like that's what they did to you. And now they're feeling this, realizing, realizing that they were duped. They were lied to. Yep. You were an empress the whole time. You were an empress. You had the empress energy in you, I feel, the whole time. This person did this to an empress. When they were told, they were told by this other ex that you were a peasant. Okay? This is what they were told, that you were a peasant. This is a, someone in peasant clothing with an empty basket, working really hard. Maybe even started your own project, like I said. This person, this other liar, they could have said you were crazy for that project. They could have said you, you weren't ever going to finish anything. Or you weren't ever going to, this project wasn't ever going to take off. Or you would never have anything, I'm telling you. And you, you're actually the empress. And the empress in the minor arcana. There's no, no comparison to you. You're every queen in the deck, and this person's never going to find another you. Yeah, they walked away from an empress. Ooh, that's that sudden realization, a crashing tower moment. Oh, my gosh, I walked away from an empress. Can I ever get this empress back? Now you're out here meeting new people, finding new love. Yep, they lost an empress. Wow, look at that regret. Yep, this is a sudden realization. Oh my gosh. Yes. Will they ever get you back now that they've stuck a sword in your back and left you there to bleed out and heal on your own? They don't know. They don't know, but they're seeing everything now from a new perspective. Okay, and they're seeing that you're actually the one for them. Oh my gosh, this is, this is that sickening tower moment, that um, very powerful sudden realization. Now this person is like knocked down on their knees, okay? Yeah, they want to come rushing in and apologize. They don't know though how, what your reaction is going to be like because they know they've put you through a battle. And you moved on. Like when this happened to you, I feel like you picked yourself back up and you just were like, what else can I do besides pick myself up and work on my own life and the things that I can control? Because you, this was out of your control, really. And you, as an empress, you weren't going to chase this person. So you didn't. 
Okay. And and I you went, I feel like you went through that healing process and now you're moving on having this victory cuz you've gotten through that on your own. You you have some pride in in how far you've come and you should. Cuz this person had you kind of on the ground in heartache. Okay? Yeah, you just stopped talking to them altogether. You just stopped communicating with them and you left them behind. And they're realizing this. They may not get you back here. Mm -mm. Yeah, and I see you walking off your spread with your cup. So you're no longer, um, you're no longer offering your love to this person. I, I feel like even if they do come back, you don't trust them anymore. You've come too far in your in this process, in your healing process. Like you've you've been through too much. And you've come too far to go backwards. Okay? That's what this is. But I feel like you can sense, because um, you're very intuitive here, you can sense that this person is about to approach you. Okay? You can sense it. It's almost as if the moon card is standing in the way. So it's almost like that mystery is... Um, I don't know. It just feels like um, it feels like there's some mystery building or some something is building here, and it's kind of like in between this connection right now. Like you can feel it. You can feel this person wants to come back in. I feel like that gives you some kind of anxiety because you don't want this person back because you see them as toxic. Yeah. You see this person now as toxic. Like if you let them back in, all of your progress is going to be tossed out the window. They'll break your heart all over again. You're not going to be able to trust them, but you can sure feel them approaching. I'm telling you with this moon card, I'm, it's, giving this, it's giving this mysterious something is about to happen energy. <laughs> okay? That's just how it's, it's feeling to me. And you can feel it too. You can feel the closer this person gets to approaching you. This is energetic too. You can sense that they're thinking about you. You can sense that they're trying to plan what words to say that's going to fix this. Okay? You can sense them being maybe a little bit strategic as well. You know, like, um, I need to say this and this and this. I can't leave that out. Maybe I shouldn't talk about this as much because I don't want to upset the collective. You can feel them working this out in their head. And it's giving you some anxiety. I'm not going to lie. I feel like you're trying to avoid this communication because you don't want to be reeled back in. You know? This could have been a person, uh, the one who listened to this other liar they could have been the kind of person who was maybe afraid of commitment you know it was getting close to that right it, it could have been getting close to a commitment and they were nervous they were scared like um not maybe not a marriage but it was getting close to like um being at least a couple like um a like a legit couple and they were worried about that you know um I don't know. I feel like maybe this person was more worried about them, you know, making a mistake or something. It doesn't matter, though. They should have given you the respect and the decency of a conversation about this. That's what they should have done. Yes, thank you, Divine. Yes, that's a confirmation. So, you know, and you're looking back on that part. Like, they, no one even checked on me. No one cared. These are, and I feel like other people were involved in this or they knew about your heartache and nobody said anything if they knew the truth no one came to you with the truth it was like when when you had your heart broken it's like almost either everybody turned on you or everyone turned away from you and you were left to pick up those pieces and shoulder the burden of all of this for no real reason, okay? You didn't wrong anybody. 
I feel like you you just don't you feel like it's such a huge betrayal okay and um, yeah I feel like you're avoiding communication even though you know it's about to happen you can feel this person coming back this is someone from your past coming back around Uh, I feel both of you are having memories of what happened, okay? I feel like this masculine is remembering how loving and kind you were, and you're remembering the betrayal and the hurt. And knowing that you were innocent. This is an innocent card. Knowing that you were innocent. Yeah, this masculine, they're thinking heavy about all of this. They don't... They seriously don't really know what they're gonna what they're gonna say to make this right. They don't know if there's anything that they can actually say to make this better. Okay? But all they can do is think about coming in with a whopping apology, okay, and hoping for the best. Yeah, it just feels like you're being very defensive. You may feel like this person could show up at your door at any time. Or people from your past um, showing up at your door at any time to talk about the situation. There may be a family involved in this, like some kind of family involvement. I just picked up on that. Wanting to talk, maybe wanting to plead this person's case. Mm. Yeah, I feel like you just don't want to be, um, you don't want to be dragged back into heartache again. And they, this, whoever this was, I think everybody who knew about the situation, everyone who touched the situation at all, was so inconsiderate and disrespectful of you. Okay? It's like everybody treated you like an afterthought, like it was no big deal. That's really sad, and you were left to deal with this on your own. I'm so sorry, Collective, that that happened to you. The same thing happened to me. You could have been dealing with a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now this person can't stop watching you. I feel like they want to get serious now, but there's such a, like a, a thick energy between you um yeah they manipulated you they had in and out energy this person has been sitting in hermit energy thinking about how horrible they were to you and how how you must feel about them I think that's one of the hardest things for them. You may have had a lot of respect for this person before. Like I said, I feel like the connection was going really well. You could have looked up to this person. You know, every time you looked at them, you could have had that twinkle in your eye, right? And all of a sudden, they, it, they were just, they were in and out. They were gone. Poof, gone. Yep. And they're going to have a hard time coming back from that. They're going to have a hard time coming back from this. And everybody who, who had any part to play in this at all is going to have a real hard time coming back from this because you were put through so much pain, unprovoked. There was no reason for what was done to you. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Um, let's see what advice. I feel like you are meeting new people, okay? You're starting to live your life again. You're happy. You're, you're happy being single. Yeah, somebody wants to come in and fix this with you, but you're already on your way out. Collective. Wearing a crown. Being put through a lot of darkness. Having a lot of shade thrown on you, right? People going against you, the difficulties in the last cycle, you're coming out of that now. Um, yeah, in Empress, Emperor energy, okay? And now people, these past connections, they want to heal things with you. Yeah, look, here comes your abundance as well. You may even be making a house move soon or 
just really liking your peaceful days at home. You know, you could be really liking just hanging out at home. You know, feeling like you've got everything you need and want there. You could have a, your own business out of your home as well, so you could spend a lot of time at home. I feel like Spirit wants you to get out into the sunlight, get out into nature, maybe spend some time around water. Yeah, start a new life, focus on a new life, breaking out of your shell, getting out of your comfort zone. I feel like spirit wants you out of a comfort zone. They want you out and about, enjoying the sunlight, getting fresh air, getting your feet in, you know, bare feet in the grass, getting grounded, recharged. There's something about that um, outdoor energy, that sunlight that's recharging you, okay? Because you're about to start a new cycle. And I feel like whoever wants to come back in from your past, it's chances are slim to none of that happening at this point. I, I feel like people have put you through too much. Yeah. Yeah. You're being led in a different direction. You've got some blessings coming to you as well. This could be travel. It could be a house move, a, a location change, a vacation. You know, I feel like maybe that's what spirit is leading you to do. You've been through so much and you've come so far. Take a break. Take a break for yourself, collective, for yourself. Um, maybe take a little weekend trip. That, that's something you could be planning. Okay, getting away for the weekend. Maybe you're really excited because this is enthusiastic energy here. Okay. You got some blessings coming in. It could be payday today. Maybe you have a date with, uh, with someone over the weekend. Okay, but spirit wants you to just kind of um, make sure your spirits are lifted, right? Um, so raise, your, raise those vibrations. Get outside. Enjoy the sunlight. Get out of a comfort zone if you've been in your house a lot because you love it at home. Maybe step outside your door a little bit, breathe some fresh air, right? That's what they want for you this weekend because um, you deserve it. You deserve it. And here, if you look in this picture too, you'll see this like um, confetti. That's spirit celebrating you on the 5D. I feel like they, you know what, they, um, they want to enjoy this celebration time with you, okay? You need to celebrate all that you've been through, how much you've persevered, and how far you've come, and where it is that you're going, because you, you are starting a new life. Get out there and have some fun, right? 